Hi everyone, it's Kai here, and I'm going to do a little review of Boomerang, um, which is a popular email add-in for Outlook. Okay, so let's go to settings, and let's uh, install Boomerang first of all. So I'm doing this in the Outlook Office 365 web app, but if you have Outlook for desktop, uh, whether it's for Windows or for Mac, you can also do the same thing. So um, on the add-in store, Boomerang is number one. So I'm going to turn it on, and it's been successfully added. Uh, before we go into it, I'm going to give you a little bit of a background about what Boomerang is. Uh, Boomerang is an app or an extension that I first discovered in Gmail. And what it does is that it allows me to schedule messages at a different time. And this is really useful in Gmail because... Um, First of all, that's what we use for our company email. And sometimes I receive emails that I only look at at night. So for example, I just got a message the other day about an issue at um, 10 p.m. at night. And I hate being the person to respond at 10 p.m. at night because I don't want to um, bring this to my team members' email inboxes uh, just when they're going to bed. So what I often do is that I type a reply out and I use Boomerang to schedule it for the next day. That way, even though I hit send, the message is not going to send till, um, let's say, 9.30 the next day in the morning. And I won't be disturbing my team members at night. So, okay, so I've added Boomerang in Outlook. Uh, so I'm really surprised to see that it's been added into Outlook uh, and not just on Gmail because I know a lot of people use Outlook as well. So Boomerang has been added to Outlook. I'm going to press Get Started, and it's going to tell me, okay, so I can, you know, launch Boomerang when reading an email by pressing this button, and I can do it when composing an email by pressing this button below the message I'm typing. All right, that all sounds pretty good. Um, so let me just go in and try typing a new email. And let me send it to myself, and I'm going to call it... Um, Test email with Boomerang. Okay, just testing here. And it seems that I can launch Boomerang here. Um, I'm going to try sending it later at um, custom time. Okay, so this makes sense. I have to uh, sign up for an account before I can do that. Um, all right, everything just it's gonna get access to pretty much everything. It, I'm gonna give it all my data, press accept. Um, usually, I don't recommend doing this, but you know, I really trust Boomerang, I've been using it on Gmail for a good number of years now, so I'm okay with it having full access to my Outlook inbox. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. This is just a tutorial thing that I can skip right now. Oh, so there's a lot of functionality here. It's pretty full featured. I'm going to say um, send it later at, okay, today is Tuesday, um, 4.56. I'm going to say send it later at 4.58. And I'm going to press confirm. And all right, it's scheduling a message. And um, it just removed that message away from my compose pane and it's going to send it later in two minutes. All right, so um, let's speed up time and let's uh, see what happens in two minutes. All right, folks, it's been uh, two minutes. Actually, it's been more than two minutes. Uh, so let's check out what Boomerang has sent us. Um, I'm right here in my inbox now and the email, as promised, was delivered on 4.58 p.m. Um, and yep, it's been sent successfully. All right, so let's see what happens when I reply to an email using Boomerang now. Click on this little button here, okay? Oh, so there's an inbox pause function. So, all right, so this is, um, this I think is going to pause my inbox from receiving any emails. So I'm gonna press accept to accept the additional permissions for that. And um, all right, successfully logged in. And it stops new email from coming into my inbox until I'm ready for it. Sounds like a great feature. Um, one thing I always try to do less of at work is to um, leave my inbox open. I do not like being reactive to email. 
So I try to check email only a few times a day, and it seems that for people who uh, want to try to develop this discipline, this sorry, excuse me, this discipline, um, inbox pause might be a very useful feature for you. All right. So you can tell people when your email is paused, and you can um, have some exceptions for important people like your boss and messages. Okay, okay, all right. So I think that's it, and I just press pause to um, set up inbox pause. Okay, so I guess my inbox has been paused. I don't really. Oh, I don't really know if it's been paused. How do I? How do I try? Um, seeing what's going on. Oh, okay, so it says here that my inbox is paused. That's pretty useful for me, um, and I can unpause now by just clicking there. So, clicking on this is going to give me a quick action to unpause it. Alright, this is a lot of clicks, uh, but whatever. I'm just unpausing it now. Okay, so I think that's all I want to demo with uh, Boomerang. So I've shown you a couple of features. The first thing I've shown is how to send a message at a later time. And the second thing I've shown is how to pause your inbox. And all of this I've been pretty familiar with using Gmail. And so I'm really excited that I can use that same functionality set within um, Outlook in Office 365. Okay, thank you for listening. If you have any tips about using Boomerang, using Outlook add-ins, or how to manage your email, just leave them below in the comments section. Thank you for watching.